Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a technique that I came across on YouTube while I was searching for a technique to do. I watched this technique from Diane Evans and she called it the faux silk technique and I have since researched it and it is a technique that's been around for a long time but I kind of wanted to put my own spin on it and I'm calling it the tissue paper technique because that makes more sense to my brain. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the tissue, pa tissue paper technique today. Um, I used the Simply Zinnia stamp set and um, suite of products. It's an online exclusive suite um, for these cards. So I wanted to show you the cards first and then I'm going to show you the ideas. So. Um, the tissue paper technique is essentially taking tissue paper and putting it over an image or stamping an image on it, um, crumbling it up so it kind of has this pretty wrinkly look on your card. It just gives a lot of texture and just a different look. So here's one that I did just over some designer series paper. This is one I did by putting it scrunching it up, putting it on the regular cardstock that had been stamped and then spritzing that so that the stamped image came up through the tissue paper. This one I did by stamping on the tissue paper, coloring it, then scrunching it up and putting it onto my card base. And then this is the one I'm going to show you today, this fun background. I scrunched it all up and then put some color on there. So I'll show you how to do this one um, really quick and easy. So this is a really simple um, technique to do, not hard at all. You just need tissue paper. Any tissue paper that you wrap gifts with will work. So I have um, cut a piece that's just bigger than my piece of cardstock that I'm using. I'm just using a basic white five by three and three quarters piece of cardstock. And I'll just unscrunch my tissue paper here. You wanna be kind of careful so that you don't tear it as you unscrunch it. I don't know if there's a better word for that or not. You don't want to iron it out too well and get rid of some of those wrinkles, but you do just kinda of wanna spread it out just like that and make sure that it's still going to fit on your um, piece of cardstock. So that will work and we're going to use a regular glue stick. This is just one from any any glue stick from any big, bo big box store will work um, and you're going to just glue all over your piece of cardstock. You want the entire thing to be covered in glue and you want to do this step kind of quickly because that glue will start to dry pretty fast. I live in a very dry climate and it will start to dry right as, almost as soon as I put it on there. So we got to move quick. So I like to do the big center like that and then around the edges. I want all of those edges to be down just like that. And then take your piece and you're just going to kind of squish that down on there. And you could see this goes on purple but it dries clear, so you're not gonna see that purple. And then you're just going to push that down into the glue on your paper, just like that, making sure that all those edges get down nice and flat. Okay, just like that. You can kind of see those really fun wrinkles and different design in there. Even this is such a cool background. You could put this on the background of a card. It gives it a really cool texture and super fun. But I'm gonna show you how to add some color to this to kind of just give it that next level. First, I'm going to just secure these, um, these ends around the back. There's two ways you can do this. You can completely cut those off or you can just glue them around the back. I'm gonna glue them around the back and I'm just, so I'm just gonna cut off the corners here. So they'll glue down nicely for me. And I'm just gonna take my same glue stick, put that over on the back side. Make sure that's all flat down in the back there, just like that. So then you have your background piece. 
For this next step, I'm going to use my silicone mat. These are super nice when you're using um, water or different watercoloring techniques. And I have two different colors of stamp pads. I'm using pumpkin pie and melon mambo. And I'm just gonna take the ink from these stamp pads and just put it down on my silicone mat, just like this, in two different spots. Okay, pretty simple. And then I'm going to take a Stampin' Spritzer. And this part can get a little messy, so you wanna make sure there aren't things you don't want to get splattered with ink close by. So I'm just going to spritz this really good until those colors just start meshing all together. And I kind of want that center to become one color, okay? Just like that. And then I'm going to take my tissue paper piece of cardstock and I'm just gonna put this right into that ink and just kind of let that all soak up in there like that. And I have a few spots that I'm like, I want a little bit more ink there. So you can just kind of dip those back in like that. Okay, now we wanna wait for this to dry. I'm going to grab my um, heat tool and just heat that up a little bit and help it to, along to dry. Um, this is kind of a messy process, so you may need to wipe your hands. But I'll grab my heat tool here and we'll just watch as that dries and it just, it looks so cool. Um, once it's all dry. Okay, and you can see that it's still a little damp to touch, but you can see as it dries, it just really runs together and looks so cool. So then you can add some designer series paper. Here I used that Zinnia paper and add a fun saying just like that. And you have a super cool background to use on any card. This is such a fun technique. Like I said, I think it's been around for a really long time, but it's always fun to retry things that have been around and make them new again. So. Give it a try. If you like techniques like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We put, a we, we put a video out each week with a different technique or ideas to share. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.